welcome. In this lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you the three things that you need to know to be able to play basically any song on the piano, and it is easier than you might think. The first thing that you need to be able to do to play any song on the piano is use the internet. <laughs> I start by finding a chord chart for the song that I want to learn. And the easiest way to do that is to just type it into Google. So let's do, uh, this one's so popular, Somebody You Loved by Lewis Capaldi. I just type it in and then followed by the word chords. And usually ultimate guitar comes up and boom, you've got lyrics with chord names above them. And this will change your life. If you're not already using chord charts or guitar charts to figure out how to play your songs, you're, you won't even believe how much easier your life is gonna become. Basically, anytime somebody asks me to play the song that they wanna hear, I just find a chart and then off I go. So if you can find a chord chart, whether it's on Google, Inside Piano, it's 500 songs in five days, or Members Area Song Library, wherever you like, just find a chart. Once you have that in front of you, you need to learn or know how to play chords. And I'm gonna teach you how to build a chord uh, so that you can play basically any chord that shows up on the chord chart that you see. So when I look at this, I see that the first one is C. So I'm gonna take my right hand, we'll start there, and I'm place my thumb on C. And I'm gonna place each of my other fingers so they kind of hover over the keys. They each kind of get their own little parking spot, we'll call it. And I'm going to play with my five finger and my three finger. And that's a chord, and it really is that simple. But if you're new to the piano, this can feel like a very awkward shape. So feel free to not play that center note. So if you just can kind of hang out like this. And I am pressing my pedal down. It kind of helps to sustain the sound, but you don't have to. So I'm going to match what I'm doing in my right hand with just a single note in my left hand. So it's not like this. And now, there's a G over the word time. So I'm gonna find G, boom, there's G. Time I fear there's no one else. This is way too low for me. And then we're gonna go to A, two, three, four, and then it says F. So if you wanted to add the centers, the middle notes, the middle part of the chord sandwich into the equation, you are gonna play down with your three finger and in this key, it works, there are no black notes, but I wanna just take a quick second to teach you about how to build a chord on any note. Because if you pick, I don't know, let's say this just happened actually. I just tried to sing this and it was way too low. So you're say you're playing for a singer and they're like, yeah, I don't like that key. You gotta change it. Um, so they want it in F. So on ultimate guitar, I can just press the transpose button a few times and I'm up to F. And so now I need to know how to build a chord and I need to make sure that it all sounds right. So if F is my first chord, F, when you see just a chord name with no other letters beside it, it's a major chord. It sounds happy. And to build it, you find the chord note name, you play it with your thumb, and then you place your third finger. I'm gonna talk about half steps. This is theory, but I promise it'll be quick and over before you know it and it'll help you so much. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So basically I, I've got my thumb here and I'm gonna count from this point up to the next possible note. That's my one. Here's my two, here's my three, here's my four. Okay, and then for my next one, I'm gonna count up three half steps. One, two, three. So a major chord gets four half steps for the bottom and three half steps for the top half when you're building it in root position. I'm going under, that's better already. And this time I feel, now look it, it's the same pattern. One, two, three, four. Yes, one, two, three, it works. No one is minor has a D, an F, and an A, and, and you'll notice that beside the D is a little M, and that stands for minor, and that's going to give us a different sound. And any time you see a chord with a little M beside it, the formula changes. Um, M stands for minor, not major, and you're going to flip that formula upside down. So now the bottom half of the chord has one, two, three half steps, and the top half of the chord has one, two, three, four half steps. So to build a minor chord, just keep that in mind. And you can build a chord literally on any note, any of the black keys, any of the white keys. You can now build a major chord or a minor chord just using this information. So the next chord I see is B flat. So I'm gonna find B, 
There's B flat, and I'm gonna use my formula. One, two, three, four, puts me to D. One, two, three, puts me to, um, that's an F. <laughs> so now I've figured out how to play all the chords in my song. So I found a chart. I know how to build chords now. The, you know, just a basic major or minor triad. And I can sort of put it together. You can keep it really simple if you don't want to build something big and fancy. You can just play and hold each of the chords and move them when the lyric changes. I'm going under and this time I fear there's no one to save me. Which is going to bring us to our next point. You have to be a good listener. You have to be able to kind of hear and feel and count. So this is the piece, I mean, all this stuff, it takes time to get confident on the keyboard and you can build that over time. Um, and the same goes for the hearing, the listening, and the feeling. So when you're thinking of the song that you want to learn, this is really important that you actually kind of know it. So my little test for this is that if you can not have the music on, you can still hear it in your head. You don't have to be a singer, but you can kind of hear it and tap along. So in my head I'm hearing, I'm going under in this time. I... Right? So I'm kind of feeling like this. One, two, three, four, one. To, and I'm imagining in my mind when those when those sounds are changing, when those chords are changing, so that when I go to the piano, I have instincts that I've built around the rhythm and around when to move the chords that will help me get through the song. And this is something that's actually amazing to practice away from the piano. When you listen to music on the radio, just try clapping along or tapping your foot. Um, you know, you can count and start to develop instincts for that because someone you loved has a very like specific one, two, three, four feeling. But if you went to a song like Perfect by Ed Sheeran, I'm gonna stop and hear it. Maybe you can hear it too. I found a love. It's got a different feel. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. And you'll start to notice this the more you're aware of it as you listen to music. So when you go to play it, you can have, that's a different key, a little bit of an instinct. today, right? So the feel is going to be different based on the song. And in order to become good at this, you just got to start paying attention, develop good listening skills. So those are the three sort of core things that you need to be able to do to be able to play any song. And you might be thinking, well, what if I'm not a singer? I don't, I don't want to sing the song. What, 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 what is here for me? Well, this is the piece that kind of pulls it all together. So you use the chords that you're given and you use your ear <laughs> that you're developing and a little bit of bravery because you're going to make mistakes to begin to try to find it. So if I'm playing, let's go back to someone you loved, you kind of get a feel for what you're doing, right? I'm finding that chord progression, I'm hearing it in my head, and then I'm, I am going to try to match the first note. It's trial and error um, if you don't have music. And you actually will get better at this over time. And a secret is that usually the melody notes, especially um, the, for the most part, fall in one of the notes of the chord. Like for someone you love, I'm playing an F chord, and my melody goes, I'm going under. That's a C. It's just right at the top of my F chord. I'm going. So I'm thinking that one's down. Okay. I'm going. And you can build it that way. So my next chord is C. Time of fear. This one didn't fall right on the C chord notes, but it moves right to it, the E, which belongs to the C chord. Time of fear, there's no one to. So you begin to use your ear, the chords as clues, and lots of trial and error to find it, and you can build out the melody that way. It takes time, but it's fun. Um, it's, you know, think of it as a game. Approach it with playfulness, and don't have these great expectations of yourself that you're just gonna sit down and play the melody of a song. I've been playing for more years than I cared to admit, and I still have to fumble my way through to find a melody. So, there you go. There's all my secrets. You have them now. <laughs> you can go play any song that you want. 
If you want more, we've got lots to support you in this with 500 songs in five days, which will dive into these concepts a little more step by step. We've got fills and riffs, which will teach you how to build out some more of the fancy stuff. So you can check those out. Most of all, 